Yo, I just found out that there's currently billions of dollars available to you to help you pay your rent. So if you are behind on rent, if you are on the verge of being evicted, I'm about to share everything you need to know first and foremost about where this money is coming from, who actually qualifies for it, how much assistance you can get, and where you need to go ASAP to apply for this before it runs out. And I'll also let you know what to do if you are currently facing eviction right after this. What's up, this is Monique and welcome back to the channel. I am back with the news that you can use, but first, if you are new here, hello, bonjour, hola, konnichiwa, shalom. Thanks so much for stopping by, but don't just be a stranger, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Also, go ahead and like this video for me because it's gonna help get this info out to more people, to the people that really need to hear this right now, and your like will help do that. So I recently uploaded a video talking about the struggles that many are currently facing with paying rent. Now, I did not expect to see so many responses from people saying that they are currently being evicted. Some having to move in with family and some are literally homeless right now staying in extended stays. This is heartbreaking and it is such a huge problem that many people are facing. So with that being said, I just came across an article on CNBC that is talking about how the government still has billions of dollars available in rental assistance. So when I saw that, I had to get on here ASAP to share this news with some people that may qualify because a lot of times Sometimes many people qualify but they have no idea or they just don't know where to go to try to get the assistance so that's what we're gonna find out today and I'm sure many of you have heard about these billions of dollars that I keep on mentioning it was a part of the stimulus package that Congress passed for the pandemic where they supplied 45 billion dollars to go towards rental assistance and here we are about a year later and there is still some money left there's still 15 billion dollars left and if you actually did use this program, do not worry because you may still be able to get some assistance. Now, I did mention that there's $15 billion available, but many states say they are running out. So if you are falling behind on rent, if you are struggling to pay your rent, the experts say that you need to apply ASAP. And do not worry, I will definitely let you know where to go to see if your state is still accepting applications. But one of the absolute best things about this is this is not only for one month two months or three you can actually get anywhere from 12 to 18 months of rental assistance and that 12 to 18 months could go back and cover what you have fallen behind on to make you current and it can be used for future payments and for those that actually did receive assistance already from this program like I said it is not over for you if you have applied and received that assistance but you still find that you are struggling to keep up with your payments then you can apply again as long as you're applying for a different amount of time to be covered then you still can receive help and for the most part the money usually goes to the landlord and if you find yourself in any type of situation where they are not trying to be a part of this program then there is something that you can do you can go to the program that you applied to and ask them to actually give you the money so that you can in turn pay your landlord but I'm more than sure that many landlords will accept their money so that they can get their money back that they're losing out on so now to the part that you have probably been fast forwarding through this video to get to so that you can see if you qualify you have made it but I like to give you guys all that other information too because when you go to these places and you apply you need to know all your rights you need to know what all of this is about so that when you go in there you go in there strong and confident knowing that I can have it so in order to qualify there are a few things that you need to have going on and the first is at least one one member in your household has to be eligible for unemployment benefits and you know the requirements for unemployment for each state is different you can just go to your state websites for unemployment to find out if you can actually qualify for that and if you do then that is the first thing you can check off and you can proceed with this application process and the next thing that will qualify you is if you have lost income or you have gotten significant expenses from the pandemic and you would just have to attest to this in writing when you are applying for assistance now another thing you will need is to actually show that you are at risk for homelessness which you can do if you are pretty much behind on your rent you can just show them like past due notices 
And the last thing that you need to qualify is that your income level for 2022 cannot exceed 80% of the median in your area. Now, as long as you do not exceed the 80% median income in that area, then you can apply. But I just want to let you know they do prioritize things a little bit. They will actually help the applicants first whose income falls at 50% or below. And also, if you have been unemployed for 90 days or more, you're kind of pretty much put to the top of the list. And then if the funds run out before they get to anyone else, then they just won't help. Now, as far as where you need to go to apply, how can you actually get this assistance? I'm about to give you the website, but again, I do want you to know that states say they are running out of funds. So every state may not have it available, but the site I'm gonna show you will be able to let you know who's accepting, where you can go, all those great things. And that first place you can look will be the National Low Income Coalition. They they have the state by state list that you need of over 500 different organizations, 512 to be exact, that are giving out this $15 billion of federal money. And if you go to this site again, they are going to break it down by state where you can go. They'll also let you know if they are currently accepting applications, what they are accepting for. They'll let you know if it's more than just rent, if they are doing like internet bills. They really break this down for you so that you won't have any questions or you won't have as many at least. And I'll put this link down in the description so that you can easily access this. And another place that I found that has a list that you can look is with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. They've actually created a tool that will help you to apply for aid. And there may be more places that you can go and look to find out where you can apply or where you can find the programs that have this in your state. You could do a quick Google search, but this is what I was able to find. Now, the last thing I wanna touch on really quickly is to those that may be currently facing eviction. If you are currently going through the eviction process, you want to try to get a lawyer as soon as possible. And there are actually some places that provide free representation to people that are being evicted, including the state of Washington, Maryland, and Connecticut. There may be more places, but like I said, this is what I'm able to find right now. And there are more people and there are websites that you can go to that will provide free legal help or at a really low price, they'll be able to help you. And a little FYI, this is a little secret that I'm gonna keep between you and me. If you apply for rental assistance in some places, that may put a temporary pause on any eviction proceedings. So if you are at this point, of course, like I said, you wanna try to talk to a lawyer. They can really walk you through this and help you out. If you can find somebody free, there are a lot of resources out out there you just have to go and find them and when you actually apply for rental assistance you can talk with some of the people at the program so that they can tell you what your rights are in this situation so i hope that this has helped someone out there if it is not for you please go ahead on and like and share this information with someone else so it can help somebody that really needs it also subscribe if you have not done so but other than that i thank you so much for watching and until next time we are out peace <laughs>